If you really think about it, we don't really use social media. Social media uses us. They profit from every action we take. Every time we like, comment, post a status or repost somebody else's status. You know, we're just like pawns in their game. I would say I am pretty much addicted to social media. I think I was 12 when I started doing YouTube videos. I sometimes make commentary videos and just videos where I mess around with people. I'd say age, restric age restricting should be a, a bit more restricted on other platforms on YouTube. Let's say that you upload a photo to your social media. Every time you get a new like, every time you get a new comment, you get a dopamine boost. So you have to keep checking your Instagram to see if you've gotten more likes and more comments. So when you don't get all these 30 likes and all these 30 comments as you expected, your dopamine level doesn't go as high as when you get all of those 30 comments and likes you expected. This is how these social media apps are programmed. They're programmed to reward us with likes and comments and make us wanna, you know, be on their app more often. I spend about four or five hours daily on social media. Social media has had an effect on how I see myself um, and how I envision who I am. Um, I don't follow any influencers, but I do follow uh, artists and some models. I was bullied when I was younger on the internet, cyberbullied, so yeah. When I first started on social media, um, I was 12. I think that age restriction is extremely important for social media and it should definitely be stronger since you can see seven year olds on TikTok when it's uh, for 13 years old and older. Um, I don't think I'm addicted to it, but um, it does have, or it is a big part of my life, but I feel like if I had to stop, I could. You've probably noticed how the notification symbol is the color red. That is because the, our, the human brain connects red to danger. Uh, back in the day, Facebook used to have a blue notification symbol, but people weren't checking Facebook as often as when they changed it to red. Social media has had an impact on how I see myself. And like, I think it's like that for most people. I have been bullied on the internet. I had a lot of friends that were also bullied on social media, so. I think the age restriction should be stronger. Like, I do think uh, there should be stronger rules to people should watch over their kids, what they're doing on social media and stuff, so they don't do anything they're not supposed to. I've seen many, many disgusting things on uh, social media, disgusting videos, just uncensored uh, violence from like military stuff and sh stuff like that. But I think I've never taken taken like a break from social media. I just ignore it. I would say I was addicted to social media, but I've been much less uh, on social media than I was. People who follow these so-called influencers who are just famous people like the Kardashians or just Instagram models, they often tend to have very low self-esteem and often are very insecure about their own bodies, face or lives. Most of us know that not everything we see on social media is 100% true. Most photos are photoshopped. Even if it's just the lighting, it's still photoshopped. It changes the photo completely. You know, most adults are aware of this, but you know, young children and 
teenagers are the easiest targets. It's just horrible.